Good morning. Hello everyone. Just gonna wait until a few more people have logged into the stream, make sure everyone who wants to be watching is able to watch the start of the video. A few people joining just now, great, perfect. Okay, excellent. So welcome to Functional Fit. This is the first Functional Fit class of Lockdown Live. My name is Kirsty. welcome, thank you for coming along. Um, let's start by talking a little bit about what functional means in terms of fitness. So in terms of fitness, you might have heard it called functional fitness, functional training, functional fit. Basically, it just means that you're training your muscles to work together and you're sort of preparing the body for doing the activities of daily life. So you might not realise it, but every single day you do thousands of movements. You sit down, stand up, lie down, get up from lying down, reach down, reach up, climb stairs. All of these things are using multiple muscle groups. And functional fitness just helps your body to work a lot more smoothly in conjunction with itself and with these activities. It will also help you get most out of your other training. If you're doing other classes in lockdown, if you do other classes on your own, functional training will help you get most out of those classes. It will help you prevent injuries, it will help you really get that connection to your muscles to get the right technique, the right form, and help you to use your body the best way you can. Um, it is, I'd say it's helpful to prevent injury, it is also going to help you kind of switching on and activating the muscles. So for every move that we do today, we're going to work on different body parts, so different muscle groups. I'm going to work on activating and switching on the muscles first so that we can feel what we're working with and then we're going to go on and do some moves to help you work functionally. Um, the benefits of functional fitness, we are going to improve our mobility, our stability, our balance, we're going to improve our strength and we're also going to increase our connection with our body. So like I say, if you're working training really hard, it's not about, quali it's not about quantity here, it's about quality. So we're going to really work on getting the most out of our bodies and getting the right form, the right technique. We're going to strip it right back to basics and start working again on all those basic moves. We're going to focus a lot on compound movements. So compound movements, 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 is where we use multiple muscle groups at once. And again, that mimics your kind of daily life activities. You think you're just using your legs when you're walking, you're using lots of different things as well. So with all that being said, we are going to bring it down onto our mats. So make sure you've got something, if you don't have a mat, you can use a towel, if you're on carpet, you'll be fine. We're going to do a lot of our work down on the ground. There'll be a little bit of standing up, but down on the ground. It is very low impact today. There's no jumping about. There's no kind of mad manic movements. We are not working to any timers. So we're not kind of beat the clock or do as much of something as possible. We're going to slow it right down. The keywords are slow and controlled. So we're going to work to a certain number of reps most of the time. If you don't complete, if I say do 12 reps and you don't do all 12, please don't worry about it. We're not here to try and be as, you know, amazing at it. We're all learning, we're all starting off together as a first class. I would rather you perform less reps, but with really good form, really feeling what you should be feeling and really putting the emphasis into where you should be feeling it, rather than bash through all of the reps and not be doing it properly. So if I say we're doing 12 and you manage eight or 10, that's totally, totally fine. It's your workout, it's your training, everyone's different, and maybe the next time you come, you do a couple more. But like I say, I would rather focus on quality rather than quantity. I'll get those two mixed up. Um, so bring it down onto your mat. We're gonna do our warm-up. So our warm-up is gonna be a really full body functional warm-up. It is important to warm up at the start of every workout, of course. We're gonna take a little bit longer today, and we're also gonna do some movements that are gonna feel like part of the actual workout. So we're warming up and we're getting the heart rate up, but we're also starting to work into those muscles. So we're going to start hands and knees, so tabletop position. Hope you can all see that okay. I'm going to try and slightly tilt so you can see what I'm doing. We have got our knees under our hips and our hands under our shoulders. We are going to bring the left hand into the middle of the mat, so it's down sort of underneath your chin. We're going to bring our right arm up to our temple and we're going to go for some thoracic openers in our back. So we're just gonna bring the elbow up and then slide the elbow down to the wrist. So hips stay still, working through the chest. Let's go for three on the right. So one, and slide it down. Two, and three, good. We're gonna bring the right hand to the middle of the mat. We're gonna bring our left hand up to temple. We're gonna open up and reach down. Let's go for three together. 
One, so opening up through that chest, rotating through the top of that spine, that's two, and three. Good, excellent. We're going to bring it into some pigeon lunges. So we're going to come up into our plank position. We're going to bring one knee forward, drop the toes, feeling a little stretch in the hips, tuck the toes, switch it over. So each knee comes in under the body. We're going to go for three each side. So here we go. One, nice and slow and controlled. Two, remember to tuck those toes under when you come up. Here's two on the right. Number two on the left. Pushing down through the palms. Last one on the right. Really feel that stretch in the hips and in the glutes. Good, last one here. Hold that up for a second, feel the stretch. Excellent. Bring it around into a seated position. We are gonna have our legs out in front, knees bent, we're gonna have our feet flat on the floor. Back nice and straight, we're gonna have our hands behind us just to help brace our body. We're gonna drop our knees to one side, feel a little twist, feel it in the glutes, feel it in the hips, and then drop to the other side. So just do a few here. Nice and slow, try and get your knees down, up to middle, and down, up, down. We're going to do two more each side, so two. Try and keep those bum muscles down on the ground. Last one here. Excellent, good. We're going to slowly bring it up to standing. Back on side on so you can see. We're going to have our feet just slightly wider than our hips, toes turned out slightly. We are going to come down into either a low squat or a froggy if you can. So we're going to come down as low as we can. We're going to have our elbows in between our legs. We're going to hold it here. We're going to put our hands on the ground, lift our hips up and try and straighten our legs without locking out our knees. Come back down. And then pushing those hips up. Last time, down here, and then hands on the ground, push up through the hips. Good. We're going to relax those knees, bring it back down onto your mats. We're going to come and lie down. Check if you still see me okay. We are going to have our hands under our chins, keeping our chins down on our hands. We are going to push our belly buttons in towards the mat, keeping our feet on the ground. We're going to lift up, stretching through the back and return. We're going to go for three, two, and one. Hold it here and slowly bring it down. Excellent. Last move here. We're going to stay lying down. We're going to come onto the side. So we're going to have one arm out in front of us, straight in the bottom leg, top leg, wrap, top leg, top leg wraps over, knee down, Find a bit more space here. We're going to come into like a crocodile pose. So imagine you're snapping like a crocodile. We are going to move around our shoulders, trying to keep our fingertips on the ground the whole time. So rotate round and then bring hand up and over. So see if you can get your fingertips as close to the ground as you can and really rotate through that full shoulder. One more time. You might not get your fingers on the ground the whole time. I did the first time I did this. We're going to roll over other side. You can roll over where you are, but I want to make sure you can still see me. So bottom leg straight. Top knee wraps over, arms together, and then try and trace a big circle on the ground. I've got the window in the way, but you won't. And bring the hands back together. Two more, so try and keep those fingers on the ground. Really rotate through the full range of your shoulder. Last one. Nice big circles. Nice and slow. Bring it back. Excellent. So that's our warm up done. So we've gone through all the major joints, all the major muscles. Should we feel a little bit warmer now, ready to work? We're going to start with the biggest muscle groups. So we're going to go big to small. We're going to start with our glutes. So we're going to bring it up to standing, nice and slow. I work, no we're not, we're going to stay down. Activation. We activate first. So we're going to activate into the muscles. So we're going to do a few moves that will really switch on those glute muscles and you'll feel exactly where you should be working. So 
So we're going to do some gullet bridges. So lying down, shoulder blades on the mat, feet up near the bum, bent onto the ground. We are going to just scoop up and then squeeze the glutes at the top. We are going to tuck our pelvis under and really feel the squeeze deep into the bottom of that glute. We're going to slowly return and then come up again. So we're going to do 12. So you count with me. Again, if you can't do all 12, can you slow it down? Perfect. So we're going to start three, two, one. Up and squeeze, slowly return. So nice and slow, nice and controlled. So come up to the top of your range, tuck the pelvis and squeeze the glutes. This is four, five, six, halfway there. So you should really feel the glutes starting to fire up now. That's eight, nine, ten, hold it at the top for a second, eleven, Last one here, 12. Good. So we should start feeling it into those deep core uh, glute muscles. We're going to come up and work on the abductors and adductors. So that's the inside and the outside of your legs, so your gluteus minimus. So again, we're going to come up and we're going to scoop up, tuck the pelvis under, but instead of going down, we're going to bring the knees out and in. So nice and slow, a few inches either way and really work through the side of those glutes. So we're going to do 12. So come up, get ready to go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Keep squeezing those glutes. Keep tucking that pelvis under. You should really be feeling it now. 10, 11, 12. Good, roll it down nice and slow. Get ready to come up. So we've done our activation. So glutes are turned on, fired up. You should feel a little bit, a little bit of tension now. You should really be feeling that bum. We're gonna come in to squat. So we're gonna do a tempo squat. So you might have your feet hip width apart facing forward. You might get your better range of motion there. I tend to get a little bit more range of motion when my legs are slightly wider apart. It is totally up to you. If you want to play about, if you want to try some like that and if it doesn't feel right, come a bit wider. Completely up to you, just have a play about and see what feels comfortable. So we're going to bring ourselves down into a squat. We're going to hold for three, two, one. And when we come up, we're going to come up onto the toes. So we're working our glutes. We're also working the back of our legs into the calves. So compound movements, multiple muscle groups, really getting our body to work in conjunction. So we are going to go for 10. So 10 squats, holding it and raising up. So let's get ready to go together. So make sure you're pushing down through the heels, chest stays up, pull that core in nice and tight. Here we go. Three, two, one. Drive up through the, through the calves. Three, two, one. Driving up, holding here for a second. Down, hold, drive up. Good, this is number four. So make sure you hold at the bottom. Really switching on. Excellent, halfway there. Coming down, hold. Good. Now you might just be here. If that's your range of motion, that's absolutely fine. Come up onto your toes. If you want to take it deeper, come down. Here we are, this is number eight. Up, push, nine, three, two, one. Last one. Three, two, one, up, squeeze through the calves. Good. Give it a little shake out so you should really be feeling it fired up through the back. Back of your legs, into your glutes, coming right down. Give it a little shake. That is our glutes done. We've done our glutes. We're going to move around onto our legs. So big muscles in the quads, front of the thighs, hamstrings down the back. We're going to activate. So, down on the mat again. We are going to sit up nice and tall. We're going to sit back on the sit bones. So you can make a little adjustment. Make sure that you're really sitting onto those sit bones. Oh, we're fine. So you can have your hands out to help you. 
support you. Make sure your back's nice and straight. We're going to lift up through the right leg, move the leg out, move the leg over and return it down. Same thing on the left, out, over and down. So we're going to do three on each side, so we're ready to come up, right foot first, three, two, one. Up, bring it out as far as you can, cross it over, return to centre and bring it down. Up, out, in, return and down. So when you bring it up, you should feel a squeeze in that quad. Bring it out, you should feel it on the outside. Bring it over into the inside and then return. Good. Up, out first, over, return. Try not to collapse in, try to keep the shoulders back and the chest up, last time. Out, over, return and down. Up, out, return, bring it back and down. Good, so we'll activate into those quad muscles. Warmed up through the legs, we're going to bring it up. Our first move, we're going to start on the right leg. We're going to do 10 on each side. So starting on the right, we are going to have our chest up nice and high. We're going to come into a lunge. We're going to tap the knee onto the ground. We're going to drive up and bring the knee up. So make sure you can still see me. So down, tap the ground, drive up, tap and drive. So we're not resting on the ground. We're not just kneeling down. We're just tapping it and bringing it up. That's going to make sure you move through the full range of motion and you get your legs right down to 90-90. When we bring our knee up, we're using our core to really help pull that knee up. So again, compound movement. So make sure you plant your left leg nice and strong. Push down through the heel, chest up, shoulders back. We're going to go 10 on the right side. In three, two, one. So down and up. Use those arms to help you balance. Come down, bring it up. That's three, four, five, six. So nice and slow and controlled. It's not a race. Good. Eight, two more, nine, ten. Excellent. We're going to go on the left hand side, so I'll turn around so you can still see. So plant the right leg, heel comes down, roll those shoulders back. We're going to go for 10 here in three, two, one, down, drive that knee up. So you're going to feel it in the quad on the uh, bending side, on the front leg. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, feel it in the legs, give it a little shake off, do what you need to do. So, we've done the front of our legs, we're going to bring it around to the backs of our legs. So, again, one legged, so kind of training your balance. Training your stability, we're going to plant the left leg down. Two options here. We can either come into a B stance, so we have our back leg down supporting on the ground. We're going to hinge from the hips, reaching down, and then coming back up, squeezing down and up. So you're going to feel it right down the back of that leg. Option two, we're going to have our back leg up, so we're going to come down. Raise the back leg and then bring it through. So down and bring it through. So up to you. You can start off with one and then progress. See how you get on. So left leg planted. We're going to go 10 on each side again. Right leg up. Three, two, one. Hinging from the hips. Driving down. Use those core muscles to pull the leg up. So nice and slow. So make sure that that front leg stays straight. We're not locking out the knee, but the leg stays straight. Four. Five. Keep 
it going. So really feel the pinch up the back of that leg. If you need to tap the toe down in between, you can do that. Here's nine. And 10. Good. So again, we're going to switch sides. So we're going to plant our right foot. Push down through the heel. Body stays nice and straight. We're going to use our left leg up. So brace the core. Get ready to go in three, two, one. So come down. And then bring the knee up. So we're hinging from that hip. Legs stay straight. Reaching down, using the abs to draw that knee up. Remember your option is to keep that leg down and just reach and squeeze. Good, seven. Few more, eight. Nine, last one. 10. Finish it off. Good. So we've worked all of our legs. We've worked the front of our legs, back of our legs. Excellent. So we are going to come into our back and chest. Grab a drink if you need it. Stay hydrated. So our back and chest muscles are nice, big, powerful muscles. We're going to work on activating through our back and into our pecs. So two options here again. Knees come down, body weight comes over our hands, so we're almost tucking the pelvis in a little bit, so the weight's over our hands. You want to have your toes tucked under on the ground to give you a bit of support. We are just going to push and pull through the shoulder blades, so it's a little move. So we're going to push the shoulder blades apart and then pull them together. I don't know if you can see that very well, but you're going to sort of push and pull without moving the rest of your body. Once you start, you'll, you'll get the hang of it. Option two is to come up onto the toes and do a plank, push and pull. So we're going to go for 10 of these. So pick your preference, knees down. If you want to start with that, that's absolutely fine. Or up on the toes. And we're just going to separate and pull together the shoulder blades. So it's called a push pull or a pull push. Activating through the back, here we go. Three, two, one. So, down and up is one move. Three, four, five, and if you're on the toes, remember, keep the weight over the hands. So we're really just pulling shoulder blades together and then pushing them apart. Here we go, eight. Nine, ten. So it's a really small move. You might not feel like you've got it right away, but it's just the shoulder blade sliding up and down, activating through the back. We are going to take it down to a push up regression. So a lot of people in the gym get down on the mat, bang out loads of push ups. Form is terrible. I could drop and do 20 push ups. Form might not be great, it might not be very effective. So we're going to bring it back to basics. I want you to do this on your knees. So even if you do loads of push-ups, come back onto your knees and we're going to really learn how to control our upper body. So again, hands come out slightly wider than shoulders. Weight is over our hands, toes this time are down. So toes flat on the ground. We are going to come down for three and lower completely to the ground. So tuck that bum under, we're going to come down, full body hits the deck and then push back onto your knees. And we're ready to go again. So by lowering eccentrically, so nice and slowly, we are learning how to control the movement. Our arms are under our shoulders and we don't come back like straight like this. Arms come back slightly on a diagonal, so almost like an arrow shape. So we're pushing up, we're not kind of up here. Arms come back like this. So we are gonna do, we're gonna do eight of these. I think eight is probably enough. So knees out, toes, Flat onto the ground, slightly wider than shoulders. We're going to slowly lower down and the full torso should hit the deck at the same time. So, three, two, one, and then back onto the knees 
and then use that to push you forward again. Three, two, one, back, and then use that counterbalance to push you forward. Down, nice and slow, and then back. So you'll notice that my pelvis isn't hitting first, my chest isn't hitting first, my upper body comes down nice and controlled. Try and do the same thing, push down through the hands, Good, we've got three more. Three, two, one. Last two. Keep going, nice and controlled. Last one here. Bring it back. Excellent, so you should be feeling that in your pec muscles, so right under here, when you're coming back, you should be getting that stretch and you should feel it in the centre of the back. Now, I know the lead is out there. Have a little bit on top. This might be hitting the deck before the rest of it. Me personally, not blessed in that department, so not so much for me. But if you have your chest hitting the ground first, as long as you continue to lower until you're at that range of motion, that's fine. You can't help what nature gave you. So, if you want to work on that um, regression again, Make sure you're going nice and slow down before you reach the ground and then push back. So, back, chest, a little bit of shoulders, multiple muscle groups, compound movements, full body's working, core's working. We are moving on, we have got our shoulders. So they should be feeling a little bit fired up from your push-ups and your push-pulls. We're going to finish off our activation. We're going to come and sit up. So, I like to sit cross-legged because it's more comfortable for me getting straight back that way. You could have your legs out, you could have them, you know, feet together, whatever's comfortable for you. I like to sit cross-legged. We're gonna sit up nice and tall. So, we're gonna have a string right the way through from the base of our spine up through our heads. We've got that imaginary book on our heads. Nice and straight, nice and tall, flat back. We are gonna imagine that our top half is squeezed between two plates. So imagine you're in like double glazing. So you can't move forward and back too much. You've got to stay within that little, that little wedge. So we're going to bring our hands up. You'll notice that that's nice and comfortable, nice and casual. We are going to tuck the elbows under so they're parallel to the ground. So from here where it's just natural, pull them under. And what you will feel engaging is your infraspinatus muscle. So your infraspinatus is the muscle that covers your shoulder blade. So where your shoulder blades move back and forward, if you imagine coming from the shoulder, the little muscles that cover that. You're also going to activate into your deltoids. So the deltoids are the big shoulder muscles, right at the top of the move. So by tucking the elbows under, with the back, back nice and flat, from here, tuck them under, you will feel a little pinch, you will feel it engage. From here, we're going to move our hands straight up and straight back down. We're going to bring the elbows into the waist. So sandwich between those two bits of glass, all the way down with our elbows tucked under. The good thing about this is if you ever do back squats, if you do like body pump classes, a lot of people have the bar and have the elbows like this and that's pushing your chest down. What you want to do when you've got a back weight is tuck the elbows under and that way you're underneath the bar. So we're helping engage the shoulders into other movements. So back straight, hands up, tuck those elbows under so you're nice and flat between that glass. We're gonna go for 10. So we're going to raise up and then bring them down to the waist. So you will start to feel a pinch when you get to about here. Middle should feel okay and then you should feel a pinch here. This is number three. Slow and controlled. Four. Good. So we're keeping our shoulders down. We're not shrugging up. Keeping our shoulders down and just use those deltoid muscles and that infraspinatus and a little bit of your trapezoid muscles. Good, so you guys keep going. What you should be feeling, if you imagine that's your shoulder blade, you're feeling the muscles sliding up and over. We're engaging that muscle and we're really activating specifically into the shoulder muscles. Two more. Down. Last one, bring it down. Good, 
Skip shoulders will roll out. Excellent. We are going to come down onto our tummies again. So, nice and flat. Top of the feet down. Press your tummy button into the mat. Nice flat back. I'm probably going to come off camera a little bit here. We're going to have our chin and nose on the mat. So everything really nice and flat. We're going to bring our arms out into a wide V. And without lifting our chest or lifting our head, we're just going to bring the arms up and return them to the mat. So use those shoulder muscles to return it to the mat. So we're going out, but everything stays on the mat. Let's get ready to go. We're going to do 10. So in three, two, one. One. Two, so I'm going to lift my head up so I can see, but you're going to keep everything pressed into the mat. So squeeze at the top. Three more. Eight. Nine. Last one. Hold. And then return. Good. So we'll be using that shoulder. Everything else has stayed still. And we'll just use that shoulder and we're really going to feel it across the back of the delts. So you should be feeling it. Nice pinch. Good. Excellent. So, shoulders done. Moving down the body, we're going to go into our arms. So, triceps. We're going to come around. Again, we've got options here. Option one, we're going to have our hands facing forward, so facing in towards the body. We're going to keep our feet and our bum on the ground. We're going to lower down, bending at the elbow, and then push up. So brace that core, chest stays up, and push, and we're working into our triceps. If you want level two, bum comes up slightly, and we lower till the bum touches the mat, and then push back up again. So option one, option two, decide what you want to go for. We are gonna do, we're gonna do eight, so let's go eight. That's a nice number to aim for. Again, if you don't manage all eight, I would rather you just do one with perfect form, and really feel it than try and do all eight and not manage. So, I'll start off level one, then I'll move up halfway through. So, hands facing in towards the bum, feet on the mat. Let's go for the first four. So one, push up, arms nice and straight. Two, three, four. If you want to stay there, stay there. If you want a bit more, bring the bum up. Five, six, seven, eight. Excellent. You would have ideally finished off by pushing the arms up again. I kind of cut that one short. I apologize. Not very good. Um, okay, so we have activated into triceps. You'll feel that up the back of the arms. We're going to come back into our push position. We're going to go off some tricep push ups. So, in your normal push up, you have your hands outside the shoulders. Coming down, we're going to bring the hands in nice and tight. So when we go down, elbows skim the sides. So your hands are like in front of your shoulders rather than outside. Trying to go off the camera, right, there we go. Okay, so hands nice and narrow. We're going to keep our knees down. Again, we're going to tuck under so the weight's over our hands, so we're not way back here. Tucking over the hands. We're going to come down and push up. So the elbows, Skim the sides of the body. If that feels, tricep push-ups are really tough. If that feels tough, bring it up into like more of a box and so bring your knees under your hips and push down and up. Just make sure that you're coming down controlled and bending the elbow. You're not just kind of letting the head fall. So if that, so try it with the knees back. If it feels like too much, you bring the knees up. So we're going to go for eight here again. So hands under shoulders, weight pulls forward. Into the triceps, here we go. One, two, and again, if you want the knees up, make sure the elbows don't fall out. So that's four, five. I'm gonna readjust my, so make sure that your core is nice and braced and you're not letting yourself fall back. There we go. One more. 
and push. Good, bring it back a little bit, stretch it out. Ooh, you should really be feeling that into the arms now. So you don't need lots of weights and dumbbells and things, you can use body weight and get a really good effect on the arm. So, triceps, that's your two options. Bring it up beside the body or bring it back and bend the arms that way. So, lost connection, oh, look, there we go. So, core, save our core to last. We use our core in every exercise that we've done so far today. So we don't wanna do it first and tire it out. You've used it when you're bringing your knees up, you've used it in your push-ups. you have used this the whole time. So we're gonna just do a little activation and then we're gonna really blast it and then we'll go for our cool down. So, activate through the core. Plank saws. We are gonna come down with our elbows just under our shoulders, hands together. We're gonna pop onto the toes. We're just gonna go forward and back. So rocking forward and pushing back. If that becomes too much, just drop your knees down, but remember to bring your weight forward like we've talked about before. We are gonna go for, how many? We're gonna do 12. 12 pat plank saws. So forward and back is one. 12 times, here we go. Three, two, one. That's one, two. So really squeeze the bum, you're not up here. We are flat to the ground. Squeeze the bum, brace through the core, forward and back. Halfway there. This is 10, two more, 11, 12. Good, bring the knees down. Excellent, so we should really feel it switching on. The core wraps all the way around, so it's a big muscle group. So you should really feel that all the way in nice and deep. We're gonna bring it over. We're gonna go for dead bugs. Lovely name, really good work. So we're gonna have our knees up, parallel to the ground. We're gonna have our arms up as well. We're gonna move alternate hand and leg, straight out to the ground and then return. Down and up. So I want you to think about really pushing that back into the ground. So you're tucking the pelvis under, tilting the tailbone, so the back is pushing to the ground, and that means you've got to draw that tummy button in towards the spine. So we're gonna go for 12 again. So six on each side. So knees up, hands come up. We're gonna start in three, two, one. So keep pushing that lower back into the mat. And then nice and slow and controlled. This is six, seven, eight. You should feel this in your lower abs, so at the bottom of the range. Two more, so one more on each side. 11, last one, 12. Excellent. Bring up sitting nice and slow. So you should really be fired up and switched on. We're gonna do one more move. This is gonna be a full body move. This is a little bit of a challenge, but it's really gonna put everything you've learned into practice. So you've got to use a lot of muscles together. So we're gonna come back into our tabletop position. So back nice and flat, so we're not way back here, we're not here. Nice and flat, flat back, knees under your hips, hands under your shoulders. We're gonna tuck the toes under and we're gonna come up into our bear position. So like we do bear crawls. From there, we're gonna lift one hand, other hand, one foot, other foot in like a circular motion. So take a look, it looks something like this. Hand, hand, foot. Foot, hand, hand, foot, foot. So you're gonna work on not wobbling. You don't want the hips going side to side, you don't want going up and down. You're gonna try and keep everything in the middle as still as possible, and you're just raising a few inches. So I am not like, the trainer who taught me this is rock solid, she does not move. I move a little bit, but it's all about learning, it's all about training. I'll get better at it as I go on, so will you. So, into position. 
Make sure you're nice and comfortable. Neck nice and relaxed, just looking down onto the mat. We are going to go for five full circles. So one, two, three, four, five times. Here we go, knees up. So lift, lift, foot, foot. That was one full circle. This is two. So just little movements, trying to turn the hands and feet back to where they lifted up from. Two more full circles. Last one. Good, how did you get on? Were you wobbly? Were you okay? So you've got to really brace through the core. You've got to switch on those shoulders. You've got to work through the legs. That is a really good full body finisher. The more you practice, the better you will get. So, good news is, workout is finished. Grab a quick drink. We're gonna come into our cool down. So, although it wasn't a really intense workout, you should feel all of your muscles really switched on. So you've not done like loads and loads of reps, loads of heavy weights, but you should really feel like by tomorrow when you wake up, you might have some aches. That's a good thing. It means you worked hard. So we're gonna cool it down. We're gonna come lie on our mat. We're gonna push our toes out. We're gonna bring our hands up overhead. And we're just gonna take a nice lying ab stretch. So we're gonna think about lifting up through the ribs. We're gonna push our fingers and toes as far away as we can, stretching out nice and tall. Few nice deep breaths. In through the nose, out through the mouth. One more deep breath. Good. We are gonna bring our uh, left knee over onto the ground. We're going to have our hands out again, the window's in my way, to shuffle. We're going to have our hands out and we're going to look over that opposite hand. So, left knee comes over and then turn your head and look over that left hand. So take a nice twist and a nice deep glute stretch. Nice deep breaths, in through the nose, out through the mouth. And then bring it up, come to the other side. So left leg is straight, right leg comes over, and we look over and we try and keep that shoulder blade on the mat. Look out over that right hand side. Nice deep breaths. Really slow it down. Good, uncurl, unroll it all up. Use your hand to help you come up to sitting. We're gonna come up onto our knees. So we're gonna have our left leg out in front. We're gonna just come into a little hip stretch. So just put the weight into the front of the leg. So you could feel it right down the inside of the hips, right on the internal muscles there, into our adductor muscles. We are gonna bring one hand down and we're gonna open up thoracic openers like in the very start of warm up. Breathe, and then bring it up, switching sides, right leg comes forward, just tilt into that stretch, make yourself nice and comfortable here, really opening up, left hand comes down, and then we open up and look towards that right hand, so stretching into the hips and up through into the chest and the back. Good, replace that hand. Bring it up, we're going to come down into a child's pose. So we have our knees slightly wider apart, we're going to bring our belly and our chest through, hands come forward and then rest the head down. So really stretch out through the back, through the glutes, back of the body. We're going to walk our hands slowly out to the right and take a little rotation. That's the 45 minutes, but we'll just finish off our cool down. So walking over to the left, you're going to walk over to the left. Holding it here. Good, slowly walk the hands back up again. 
We are going to come up to standing nice and slow. So one leg at a time. Give yourself a little shake off. We are going to bring our right arm over, stretching out the shoulder. So holding it above or below the joint and just give it a gentle pull over. And then push that up and over into the triceps. So just give it a gentle push down through the elbow. Stretch out down the back. Good. Other arm comes over. Gentle little pull over. Really stretch through that shoulder. Up and over. Pushing down. So we're going to have our hand just in the middle of the back. Nice little tug. Excellent. We're going to bring the hands out. Feet come in slightly, so just under the hips. We're just going to reach it slowly from side to side. Little stretch down the sides. Excellent. Couple more here. Good. We're going to stretch it right up. Touch the sky. We're going to open up through the ribs. Give me a little wave. Bring it down. Give yourself a big round of applause. Excellent work, guys. We have worked really functional. So we've worked all of our muscle groups. We've done everything in conjunction, we've done compound movements, and hopefully you will take away some of these tips for other classes. So little things like tucking the elbows under, like activating, setting your stance, lots of things you can learn. So enjoy the rest of your classes. I'm back with BoxFit on Monday at 10.30. We have still got our survey available on the Leisure Active page. It's pinned to the top, so you can have a go at that. Let us know what you think about lockdown activities about post lockdown now that we kind of know what we're doing Nicola's given us a little hint and um, you can go and fill that survey in if you haven't already if you're a little bit achy tomorrow please don't worry take a nice hot bath or a nice hot shower it will go away soon it just means you've been working hard and your muscles are turned on I will see you all next week hopefully and enjoy the rest of your weekend bye bye